Let's go ahead and open that. Right, what have you got? Oh, a car parts box. Okay, what's in here? Um, oh, yes, we got a wrench. Oh, my God. Yes. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 16, the Insane Series, episode number 3. So in the last episode, we actually went back to the traders, and we managed to get ourselves this nice little hunting knife. You can see it in my hotbar right here. You can see we finally got ourselves a hunting knife. We had to do a little bit of uh, wheeling and dealing for it. But overall, it turned out very well. We just about managed to make enough money to get it, and we even managed to increase our stock of Iron Arrows a little bit. Now, it wasn't by much, but it was significant enough that we actually were able to uh, get one. And that means that if we kill any more animals now, we'll be able to actually harvest them for increased drops. And the same with vultures as well. If you harvest vultures with a hunting knife, you get quite a few more feathers from them than you usually would. Now, we're going to go back and explore the city in this episode, just because I want to see what else is around here. And you can see that I've come prepared. I've got a load more feathers as well. On the way back, I did uh, pretty much a little bit of resource gathering. Didn't really do any looting or anything like that, because I didn't want to, you know, get something in loot and then, you know, not be with you guys there to actually get it. So, yeah, I've not searched any junk or anything like that. So, we didn't actually find anything on the way back, but I thought I'd just go and uh, show you where we're at for now. So, what we're going to do in this uh, episode, guys, if I can uh, get my words out correctly, is we're going to have a little explore around this side of the city. So there's a load of big buildings over here. And uh, l looking at most of them, they're pretty much all derelict buildings. But from what I remember, these are the ones that spawned in the hub city. So I think we might find some good stuff in there. Now, I've seen something that's even better than derelict buildings, though. Look at this. Look at this. There's an army base here. What the hell? That is amazing. Okay, we might have to look in there. Oh my god! And there's a missile silo here as well. That is even cooler. Wow. Okay, so we got two army buildings in this place, guys. How cool is this? So that means we can go ahead and explore, like, these areas and maybe get some really, really good loot out of them. Maybe some guns or something? That would be really, really cool if we could. I don't know if we're going to get said guns or anything, but maybe we will. Alright, let's go in these little places here. I don't know if sleepers spawn in these little ones. It wouldn't surprise me if they did, though. So I'm actually going to kind of stay away from those areas just for now. But yeah, we got an army base over there. Um, but first of all, before we actually explore them, I just want to have a little walk around the town just to see what is here first. Because I don't want to, you know, open up anything. I want to kind of pick out the priority buildings first and then go ahead and pick out uh, the ones that I want to loot. And maybe uh, save some for later as well. It looks like a big, uh, a big kind of mound over here. I'm not sure what this place is. This looks like a bit of a... Uh bit of a destroyed building right here so it seems like there's mainly wasteland buildings around this area which is pretty cool the road does continue down here but it looks like it goes to a dead end over there i see though there's an apartment building over there as well let's go over to that apartment building maybe that could be a good one to loot for medical supplies plus we'll get to fight a lot of zombies in there as well so maybe that could be one that we go ahead and loot today Let's go ahead and look down here. Now, my character is starting to get hot, so I'm going to go ahead and drink one of these, because these yucca juices will help keep my character just that little bit cooler. So it's going to definitely be a big help. Let's go down this way as well and see what we can find. So it looks like it's mainly derelict buildings down this side of town, which isn't bad. I mean, I'm sure there's some useful stuff inside these buildings, but let's have a look at what we've got here. Oh, I see, though. Oh, what's it? Is this a parson gas? Guys, there's a parson gas here. Okay. I think this is definitely one we want to loot. Maybe we can get a wrench out of this one if we're lucky. All right, you know what? We're going to loot the passing gas first. Let's go and see if we can get ourselves a wrench. So let's uh, start looting on the outside first, and then we'll work our way in and see if we uh, have any sleepers to deal with. So tons of gas here as well, which is awesome. Plus, there's going to be a ton of gas barrels here as well to help us deal with uh, the traders. So that's going to be uh, good selling stuff as well. So let's go ahead and loot all this stuff just to see if we can get anything good. Come on, maybe something good in this car. i got a good feeling about this car. What have we got? Uh, brass car radio. Oh, I heard something. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, lady! Lady! You snuck on me! Whoa! What are you doing? What are you doing? You give me a heart attack! Wow! Where'd you come from? I heard something. I was like, huh? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, wh where did you come from? Alright, I, re I reckon she came out of that building there. Oh my... Oh my lord! Wow! I moved just in time! <laughs> that was great! Okay, let's go ahead and wear this as well. That'll actually cool us down a bit, so that actually gives us minus five in... Uh, in uh, change to that plus two there. So we're actually saving ourselves uh, seven degrees Fahrenheit there on temperature. Let's cut these. Lady, you have really got to stop doing that. That, that, that was... Whew. Okay, right. Okay, let me, let me calm down a second. Whew. Okay, right. 
Let's go back in this car. So we got some, uh, we got a brass radiator, which I'm going to scrap, and a lead trophy as well. We're going to scrap those as well. Right. Is there any more of you buggers sneaking up on me? I don't think so. Oh my god. Right. Okay. We're going to have to be a bit careful for now. Man, if she if she got me, then I'd have been dead, because I'm only at half health right now. Oh, some more duct tape as well. That's great. And let's scrap those nails for a bit of iron. And uh, let's have a little looky uh, right up the front here. Let's just uh, open that junk, and we get nothing in there. Okay. Just want to have a quick look and see what's around here. Right. Are there any more sleepers? Like... In, in obvious places that there were probably like ones there that I missed. Probably not. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, go in here. Now, I'm getting a bit hungry, but I got some yucca fruit with me as well so we can eat those. Oh, paper. I will take the paper because we're going to be using that for um, a blunderbuss, which is the next uh, weapon that I would like to make pretty soon. Let's go ahead and drink these as well. Just to go ahead and uh, recover on our hydration a bit. And same with our stamina. I think it's a full anyway. And let's um, eat some of these as well just so we can uh, make sure we're keeping on top of our hunger as well. There we go. Plus, it will heal us a little bit, so, you know, eating is a pretty good thing, too. There we go. Start heal me by, like, one or two HP each time. Yeah, look at that. So, I'm healing up very slowly. Seems that Yucca Fruit gives you one HP back, which is not bad, actually, considering how common they are. That's okay. Right, let's grab that gas barrel there. Right, I think what we're going to do, is there any sleepers around the side here? No. Any vultures coming for me? Any any oversized chickens? No? No, we good? Right, I think we're okay. All right. Let's do this. Right, let's, let's, go, in, let's go in here. Let's uh, sneak inside here. And see what sleepers we can find. Okay, let's have a little look here. While we are looking in there, right? Is there anyone in there? I don't see anyone there initially. Okay, what I'm going to do as well is I think I want to go ahead and upgrade my bow. So let's go and make a new bow. Um, can I make one yet? Uh, what do we need for that? We need... Oh, we need one more piece of wood. Typical, we need one more piece. Okay, maybe if I break this one out. There we go. That'll give me one more. I want to upgrade that bow because that's the 25, but I think we can make level 100 ones, so... That'd be better if we can do that. And lo and behold, we got ourselves a level 100 bow. That'll do some more damage. So definitely want to upgrade that bow as soon as we can. I do want to upgrade my Iron Reinforced Club as well. But I think that's going to be a task for night time, considering it takes a lot longer. So we are now inside. Let's see. Let's just check if there's any sleepers in here. Let's go very carefully. Now, I want to check down here as well, because it seems like a sneaky spot they could spawn. And up on the shelves as well. I reckon they could spawn up there. Right, it seems... Miraculously, it seems that this room is empty. Okay, so that's a, that's a good thing. So no sleepers here so far. It doesn't I don't see any immediately. So let's go in here. We're going to open it all out first, and then we're going to loot it afterwards when we're sure that it's safe. Although I can never really be sure anymore, just because of um how many uh, how many sleepers can spawn in a room. Like you you saw in yesterday's episode, we got cornered like by three in the basement. That was that was crazy. Right, let's go and check in this room as well. I just want to make sure there's no one behind this counter. I bet if there's going to be anyone, they're going to be behind here, aren't they? Yes, there we go. There is one right there. Okay, let's load this uh, arrow in. Okay, can we load steel arrows? Oh, we can load steel arrows in here. I did not realise. Okay, fine, you can have that. There we go. There we go. We can use our two steel arrows on him. There we go. And let's take the iron arrows now. Okay, do you have anything good on him? Um, some cloth. All right, let's just make sure there's no more sleepers around here first before I start looting this place properly, because I just want to be super careful. So there was one in here, right? Definitely none in this room, right? Definitely none. I just want to make sure, right? There's none by the none by the wall, none by the wall, none over there. No, no, we good? Right, I think we're okay. So let's go out the back. There might be some sleepers on the roof as well, so we have to kind of be careful from any just like sneaking up on us from the rooftops, because sometimes I literally just get up and walk off the roof. So let's go ahead and make our way through here. And let's see what we got. Man, I've already been scared by like one cheerleader, so I don't know if there's going to be any out here as well. Right, so, oh, there's a forge here. Okay, gas barrel. Let me uh, nick that real quick. Okay. Right, are there any sleepers out here? Let's go and have a let's go and have a little look. So that's really cool that there's a forge here. Okay, there is a sleeper there. Okay, there's none behind me. No? No? We sure? Yeah, okay, there's none behind me. So let's go ahead and take this guy down as well. Right, here we go. Oh, I missed him. Slightly too high. Bit low. Still too high. Okay, it looks like the arrow has a bit of an upshot. There we go. We got him. Okay, this guy's a crawler, so he's not so bad. Got him. Okay, that'll do. So that guy's been taken down. Okay. Is this forge working? Oh, this forge is actually working. That's awesome. Okay, so that's another working forge that we uh, have access to. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go and uh, grab this gas barrel. Right, are there any more sleepers here? I don't know if there's any more. Right, let's, go, let's go very carefully around this area. I just want to be ultra sure that there's no more. Right, there is um, an access to the roof here, but we had to jump on this, I think, and then go here. Okay, I don't know if that's going to be waking any up, so let's go. I think we're going to be quite in a close range, so let's get the club. 
and have a look up here. Okay, are there any? Anyone? Okay. Very nervous right now. Right, come on. Anybody? Any okay, yes, there is one there. Okay, I think. Where's the head? There's... Uh, no, is that your head? Can't really tell. Oh, yeah, that is your head. It looked like a leg for a minute. Okay. It's a cheerleader. Let's go and see if we can get a shot on her. Go on then. One, two, three. There we go. We got one shot on her. There we go. Two shots, taking her down. Very nice. Okay, so these iron arrows are definitely doing a lot more damage. So that's really, really handy to have a lot of these. What have you got anyway? Some shorts, actually. Have, are we wearing shorts? Let's wear those. Oh, we are wearing shorts already. Okay, let's uh, scrap those ones then because they are lower quality. Right, before we loot anything, let's just make sure there's no sneaky ones behind this thing. Doesn't look like it. I think. Okay, I think that is everybody. All right. Okay, let's go start looting this one then. I think that's all the sleepers cleared out here. There's, there wasn't too many of them, so that's okay. So, brass casino coin. I think I had a vulture somewhere. Is that a vulture? Hello, vulture. No? Okay. No vultures. Good. All right, what have we got here? We've got nothing in the junk. Okay. And I searched her already. Who is now just a, a rotten corpse. Right, what's in here? We have six feathers. Very nice. So I'm definitely trying to build up my stock of feathers as much as I can. Um, oh, it looks like there's a building over there as well. Look, so there's uh, there's definitely uh, definitely something over there. That's pretty cool. So it looks like a what is that? It looks like a forge house. Let me kind of zoom in with the burr a bit. Yeah, it looks like a forge house over there. Okay, that's cool. Um, so maybe we can go pay that a visit as well because I know there's like a box in there you can get. Okay, let's search this from the safety ladder. Oh, some more duct tape. Very good. We want we want a lot of that. Let's go and see what we've got here. So we've got lead and a jar. Okay, let's go ahead and take that. And I will actually start breaking down this spare iron as well. Just so I've got a spare bit to keep with me. Right, so what have we got here? We've got anything good in the trash? Oh, some oil. That'll sell for a bit. And we can scrap that for some lead. Okay, not bad. Right, let's go ahead and uh, open these boxes. I'm still sneaking because I'm still suspicious that there may be a sleeper or two around here. I just want to be absolutely sure. Right, what have we got here? Oh, working stiff box. Come on, have something good. Uh, uh, oh, handlebars. Okay, that's not bad. And some wood frames. We should keep those for building. So actually, I will keep those. And a hard metal door. Again, I'm going to keep that because that could be pretty useful. Okay, so any other junk up here? Did we search this one? We did not search this one. So what do you have? Nothing, of course. Right. And I think there is, I think there is some more iron around here somewhere. So let's go ahead and look in here. What do we get here? Nothing from that one. Any more forged iron or is that it? I think that might be it actually. Um, okay, let's sneak back in here. Right, any sleepers? Let's just go very carefully around here because I'm, I'm still not sure if we've completely cleared this area out. Okay, I think we're going to play it safe first. And we're going we're gonna to go for, let me just double check down there. I'm, I'm so nervous guys, I really think there's something down here. But I love I love this new system, like how the game makes me feel like every every time I loot a POI now, I'm I'm scared for life. Like I'm just like, dude, there could be someone like right here coming coming to kill me at any minute. And it's honestly, I'm I'm on the edge of my seat all the time with this game now. I love I love A16 so far. Like the experience I've had with it so far is really, really awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and open that. Right, what have you got? Oh, a car parts box. Okay, what's in here? Um Oh, yes! We got a wrench! Oh, my God! Yes! That is exactly what I wanted. A wrench? That's amazing. Okay, what have we got in here? Oh, my God! What luck! And some mini-bike wheels as well. Look at that! Okay. What have we got in here? They're not very good mini-bike wheels, but they're still, it's still something. What have we got in here? Come on. Anything in here? And we got another car parts box. Come on. What have we got in here? We got here. Oh, some more handlebars as well. Nice. And some iron. Okay, which is the better set of handlebars? Right, we've already got a set there. So let's go ahead and scrap these ones. Because we've already got a better set of handlebars right there. Oh, wow. We, that is amazing. We've done so well with that. That is awesome. So we've got batteries and everything from here. That's really good. Okay, what have we got in here? Mirror. Oh, yes. Great alcohol. We can use that as well. Nice. And what have we got in here? Nothing in there. Okay, right. Let's uh, set lockers. Oh, can this possibly get any better? Some jeans. Okay, we can scrap those for some cloth. And what have we got in here? Nothing in those lockers. Okay, I was hoping for a mining helmet, but that would be uh, a bit too greedy, I guess. Right, cardboard box. What have you got for me, Mr. Cardboard Box? You have got some paper. There we go. I'll take that. Actually, we can actually destroy these and get more paper out of them as well. We're going to want a lot of paper. So let's go ahead and grab these. There you go. We get two extra paper from that as well. Very nice. Okay, so we've got a sink. What have we got in this sink? Oh, oh and another wrench. Look at that. That is great. Maybe we can sell one of these. How much do they sell for? 63. Eh, not too high. Handlebars sell for 37. Yeah, they're not, not the best, but it's, it sells for a little bit. Let's go ahead, actually, and uh, we're going to break this brass faucet off as well. Because that will give me some spare brass. So let's go ahead and take that. There we go. And let's go ahead and scrap. Oh. Okay, there's another sleeper around here. I knew there was one more. 
Okay, where is this guy? Okay. Go on then. Okay, now you got him. Go on then. Okay. It's funny, they get stuck on a brick. The mini bikes do that all the time as well, though. There we go. Go on then. There you go, we'll knock him down. Ha ha! One more. There you go. Nice. Okay, right, let's get back inside. Right, I think that's all the sleepers here. Let's get back in. Hopefully no fresh ones respawn, because sometimes they do. Just be aware of that. They, they can respawn sometimes fresh. Okay, there's a bit of iron down there. I want to grab that. Let's grab any uh, any spare resources we can find around here that's going to help us out. Um, stone's not so worried about much too. Okay, there's a fridge and a cooler and a bin over here. So let's see what we've got here. So the bin. What do you have in the bin? Uh, oh, moldy bread and a pipe. That's always nice. And what have we got in this fridge? Nothing there. Right, it's... I'm still keeping an eye out. Okay. Nothing so far. Okay, I think we're good here. Okay, did we search this side? I think we searched those two. Yeah, we did. All right, let's get inside here. And let's see what we can find in this one. No new sleepers spawned back there. Nope. Okay, let's search everything here then. So the filing cabinet, nothing in there. Okay, bookcase. Anything good? More paper. Okay, not bad. How about the fridge? I can. Okay, not not the best, but it's something. And more casino coins and paper. Again, that's pretty good. What have we got in here? We've got... Oh, yes, some beer. Nice. Excellent. Okay, what have we got in here? Oh, some more beer. Double beer barrage. That is awesome. Right, how about you? Any cash or anything? More casino coins. Not many, but, you know, every little helps, right? Let's go ahead and scrap this chair. Okay, well, we're already full on inventory. I might have to run back or at least make some kind of storage box somewhere. Now, do I really want to open that? No, well, I think we'll come back for the safes. I think that's the best thing we can do is come back. Now, what I'm going to start doing, I think, is uh, each of the buildings I loot, I'm just going to mark um, the day that I looted them. So we're going to go ahead and do day two um, on here. Um, I'm going to say day two um, and then to do safe. There we go. So that means when I look over there, it will just say I, I looted it on day two, but I still have to do the safe. So, yeah, my kind of uh, my kind of uh, convention right there, just so that we can go ahead and... Uh, Make sure that we remember to come back here for the safe when we get better tools. But right now, I want to get out of here and move on. So let's see what other stuff there is around here. Let's walk up this road. I don't think there's much up this road. So I just want to have a quick look, just in case there is. Looks like there's cars. It looks like that's a very straight, flat road, which goes... That looks like it goes out of town. I don't see any other buildings, really, in the distance over that way. So that's uh, that's going out of town. Okay, that's cool. I just want to have a quick look, just to make sure there was uh, no extra stuff up there. Let's have a look in this car as well. Anything good in the car? What can we find in here? Oh, a coffee seed. Actually, that's really good as well. I would like, uh, I would very much like a coffee seed. All right. Let's get up here and uh, get some more yucca fruits as well. May as well. If we find any more aloe as well, that'd be handy. Oh, there's a, a zombie walking over there who now has seen me and he wants to come and kill me. All right. Come on then. Okay, getting hungry again, so I need to eat some more of those um, yucca fruits. All right. Go on then. Okay, keep back. Stay back, you fiend. I see. You get down. Do the do a pirouette for me. There you go. There we go. Okay, there we go. And oh, a business. Well, that's our reward for killing seven feathers. Yay! Right. Is that it? I think that's it around this area. Let's go ahead and harvest these two as well. And oh, there's another one. And some junk. What have we got in the junk? Anything good? Yep. And gunpowder. Okay, we are definitely full of inventory, so I think I'm going to need to. Uh, I think I'm going to need to head back. But I think what we'll do is we'll make. Uh, let's go to the center of the town somewhere, uh, make like a, a storage box or something. So I guess. Um, yeah, I guess over here we'll do quite well as a storage box. So let's go up here. And then we can make one of those. I still can't believe the size of this town, though, guys. This is amazing. Like this is huge. I don't think I've ever seen a city this big in Round of Gen for A16. I think this is the first proper big city I've seen. Which is really, really cool. So let's go here. Um, oh, there's a fire station over there as well. Nice. Okay, we want to go there. Let's go ahead and make a, a chest. Um, and we're going to put some stuff in here. Um, and then we can come back for it later. So let's go ahead and make one of those. And then with these, we can make some... Oh, we can make Molotov cocktails? Oh, what do they require? Oh, we can make Molotovs! <gasps> Ooh, I definitely want some of those soon. Ask me, cool. Uh, page one of the uh, anarchist cookbook. <laughs> light with the secondary, uh, light with the secondary action, and throw with the primary action. That is awesome. Okay, I don't, I don't want to make those yet. I think we're gonna save that for now. Let's go and make some yucca juice now. But that's how we make molotovs. Nice. So actually, we should be keeping that oil then. Uh, if oil can be used for the molotovs, that's definitely something I want to, uh, I want to keep for me. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, eat that one. And there's our chest as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and lay this chest down over here, probably like away from a car, so we know uh, so we know it's not going to get blown up. Let's go and put it there, and let's go and mark it on the map as well. Um, so right here, 
we have a loot chest so let's save a waypoint here and uh, let's do no, is there like a loot bag one no there's not okay let's just do an x then so loot loot chest there we go so at least now we know where stuff is and we can come back and get that when we need to so for example all this stuff we can just put away for now um because we don't need to keep all this stuff on us and then we can come back and get the best of it a little bit later so all this stuff can go two wrenches though guys that is awesome so let's go ahead and do that actually i'll take one wrench with me because we can use that to take stuff apart but then the other wrench can stay here uh the cloth we can put away and the uh, aloe vera we can also place in here as well we do need to uh, find ourselves a bit more food though so we're gonna have to go around and uh, grab some of that definitely got the wrench yep got the wrench all right we're good good stuff right let's keep going oh well we're having uh we're having pretty good luck today so we've had a close a uh, bit of a close encounter but other than that we're having pretty good luck all right let's go and grab this all right let's grab all these we're gonna eat those on the way as well let's grab that one hopefully no sleepers are outside waiting to uh, come after me let's just back up here i don't see any right let's go and eat these yucca fruits just to keep me uh just to keep me going here what did i oh did i go to craft something i don't think i did okay let's uh actually put that knife away and have those equipped there so then i can run along and eat there we go very nice what have we got in here? We have more feathers. Oh, 25. Very nice. So again, a good a good, a good supply of feathers now. So the desert, I'm definitely finding it nice and easy to find feathers. There we go. Let's get a few more. There we go. And we are getting uh, a little bit hot again. So we are overheating actually quite a lot. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful here. But that's okay. Right, let's uh, keep moving on. So hopefully that's going to be enough, uh, enough yuccas for us for a little while. But yeah, we got yucca juice if we need it as well. Okay, let's have a let's grab these as well while we're here. All right. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, there's a big mansion over there. Oh, is that a daycare as well? Oh, there's a daycare as well. Okay, we got some good places to loot around this side of town. All right, this is where we're gonna be. This is where we're gonna be uh, focusing on then. So we need to go ahead and drink one of those just to cool us off a little bit. There we go. And let's go ahead and uh, eat those two as well while we go ahead and loot this car. What have we got in this car? We have some plastics in the car. Okay, and let's try this one as well. Now, I could take this car apart with the wrench, but right now I don't really want to just yet. I'll, I'll do uh, car take apart hitch and stuff at night, I think is probably the best time that we can do that. All right, so here we go, guys. Here is the fire station. So let's go ahead and break our way in here and see what we can find in here. I don't know how many sleepers are going to be in this one. Probably quite a few. I reckon we're going to I reckon we're gonna find a lot in here. Let's have a look. Do I see any immediately? No, I don't see any immediate sleepers around here. Okay, let's go and quietly break away through here right any there any there no whoa whoa big lady whoa big lady okay oh back up back up right let's get her outside you step outside there we go let's get her a few times let's knock it out all right come on big lady got surprised me on the way in you are oi there you go right come on then go on yeah there you go Right, any more coming out? No. What's she got? Anything good? Oh, look at that. Another pickaxe and a hammer. Nice. That's cool. So the hammer can be used to upgrade things. So that's a pretty good one to keep hold of. Alrighty then. Okay, let's go back in for round two. Man, good thing I looked to the right there. So is there any more here? Let's go and have a look. Right. Any sneaking up that way yet? Nope. Nope. Anyone here? Nope. Okay. Okay. I think we're good here. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. I see one. I see a sneaky bugger over there. I don't know if I can go around and get to him though. Let's go ahead and go up these stairs a little bit. Okay. See if I can uh, get him at least once. There you go. Okay, he's walking around over there. Okay, no one else sneaking around up here? No. Okay, at least now we know where he is. And we can hear him now as well, which is the more important thing. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. He's kind of like walking around in the light. So I think they get like attracted to light or something. It looks like it. Like, not just my light source, but, like, anything. Because he's kind of going over that way, and then he sort of turns around to it. Okay. Oh, there we go. We knocked him down. He still doesn't know where I am, so, uh... Good night. Yeah. That's what we get. We leveled up. Nice. We actually have 18 skill points to spend. I will go and spend those, but right now I'm kind of... I'm more concerned about surviving, so... Right, is there anyone behind there? I don't think so. Let's keep an eye on that counter, just in case. Yeah, sneaky little bugger behind the wall here. Could have got me. Right. Let's go and see over there. Anybody? Right, I see a big lady over there. Is there anyone behind here? No one there. Now, there's an upstairs place as well. So I think I think let's do the upstairs first, and then we'll come back uh, to the downstairs. So I don't see anyone up there yet on the balcony side. Let's go and have a look. There's, there might be some lying down, so let's go and have a look here. Let's go very carefully. 
And then if we need to back out, we can back out. Oh, here's one. Right. Is there just one? No, there's two. There's two. Okay. Right. I don't know if he's going to get up if we get too close. Okay, those guys still seem still. Okay. Let's go ahead and get him once in the face. Okay. Crawler gone. Right, no one, no on this side? No. Okay, so we just have this guy left to deal with up here. So let's go ahead and uh, very quickly and silently take him out. There we go. Oh, I missed him. Okay. Okay, knocked him over. Nice. And one more shot to the face. Got him. Woo! Okay, there we go. We're doing okay. Right, we're doing all right. Okay. Let's just check these guys first. And, oh, a short iron pipe I will take. And let's go ahead and move over here. And what have you got, mister? You have... Oh, some honey. Very nice. Very nice. Let's drink that as well. So we got two honey. So that makes my purchase of the honey from the traders yesterday kind of redundant, but never mind. Right, okay. I think that's the upper floor done. So let's go ahead and move this way. And we're going to see if we can deal with the lady down here. Right, there is the lady over there. Now, is there anyone closer by that's going to sneak around this side of me? I don't think there is. So let's go and see if we can pick her off first. So a little bit over... Okay, slightly too high. A bit lower. Oh, there we go. Got her again. Okay, she's not happy, is she? Oh, you missed her. Okay, where are you going, lady? Right, is she coming this way? I think so. Yeah, I think she sees me. Yeah, she sees me. Okay, there we go. Right, let's wait for her to come over here. Then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and take her down. We've got a few arrows in there already, so that should be all right. All right, come on, then, lady. Come back here. Come on, droopy boobs. There you go. Whoa. Okay, I thought I was going to get her down, but nope. Okay. Way. Getting caught on the desk. Okay, any more? Any more? Nope. Okay, we're good so far. Right. There you go. Knocked her down. Oh, you put your head in the wall. That's cheating. Okay, we got you. There you go. You take that. Right, what have you got, lady? Any other good tools? Sometimes they have good tools. Nope. No tools on the lady. Okay. Okay, okay, let's, uh, let's get in here. Now, the other thing I'm going to check is on the shelves, because I reckon there could be... I don't know if there's going to be any sleepers, like, up on higher areas or something, so we're going to have to be kind of careful here. Let's go and check, because there's shelves and stuff, and sometimes sleepers can spawn on shelves and just drop on you. So I just want to check before I uh, go anywhere that there are no sleepers left on the shelves here. Okay, I don't think so. I think we're okay, actually. Okay, are there any sleepers around this side? Okay, I don't see any sleepers around this side. I'm kind of nervous, though. I, I, I'm kind of thinking there's probably going to be some here, but I don't see any yet. But, yeah, we'll see. Okay, there's one other room in there that we need to open, and that's like a little kitchen area. So I think that's actually got an iron door. So let's go ahead and come over here. Is this... Uh, oh, it's unlocked. Okay. Let's go and uh, arm our stuff. Right, is there any sleepers in here? Any on the counter? No, right. Let's close that door, because then we can uh, we can be safe in here. And let's go and loot this one and see what we've got. Okay, now we should be able to loot with... Uh, Impunity, so let's go and see what we get. Oh, some iron pipes and some cans. I'll scrap those. Let's see what else we get here. Okay, nothing in that one. Okay, uh, okay, nothing there. Alrighty. Okay, I think we're good. Good so far, good so far. Right. I think, I think that's all of them. Now, how much wood do I have on me? I only have two. I might need to go and get a spare bit of wood or so, um, because I want to go and uh, make some more ladders, because you can see that in this room right here, there's uh, some boxes up there, but we need ladders to be able to get up to them. So I think we're going to need to go and make some more of our own. So the one thing we can do is... Uh, oh, let's search this as well. Bookshelf, paper. Okay, not bad. One thing we can do, though, is get some leather out of this. And four, four hits gets us a good, uh, good slot out of that. Looks like our axe is uh, breaking though. Yeah, our axe is nearly gone. Let's use the fire axe instead then. That'd be three hits. Yeah, that's better. I think we actually get a little bit more using the fire axe as well. Let's have a look. That gives me one. Oh no, looks like we only get two. But we're getting a bit of wood out of this as well, so it's kind of handy. Right, let's keep an eye out for more zombies coming around. Right, I don't see any more. So let's go ahead and grab these ones here as well. There we go. We're getting low on stamina, though. Uh, let's drink one of those for a quick uh, regen, if I can. I cannot. Okay, never mind, then. Just go ahead and hack away at these. And let's do this one as well. There we go. So we've gone ahead and done those. And I think there's also some up here, isn't there? Some more uh, some more leather couches up here. Yes, there is. Let's go ahead and get these. There we go. There's one. And let's get these ones. There we go. 
think we get leather out of those. Yes, we are. Nice. Actually, we get a little bit more out of those, even though they have less hit points. Now, the other thing I can do is uh, get the wrench, and we can take these beds apart for a few extras as well. So we'll get some iron, some cloth, and stuff out of that. Loads of good stuff out of these. Let's go ahead and start taking these apart as well. Okay. Now it seems that I'm using up um, I'm using up stamina rather quickly. So why don't we go ahead and see if there's a perk that can help us with our stamina loss when using construction tools? Because I believe there is. Now the first thing I want to do is I've got 18 points to spend. Um, I can get pommel p I can get next level of pommel p and I can get next level of sexual tyrannosaurus. This affects stamina universally, so I think I'm going to go and get this one now. And I think I want to get um, this one here, Bad Mechanic, as well. Because it says, uh, putting things back together has never been your strong point. But you get more useful items when taking them apart. And you receive more resources when harvesting with construction tools. And I think I want to go ahead and get that. Because that's going to help me uh, get some more stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. And it also decreases our stamina degradation as well. I still have three more points to spend. So why don't we go ahead and put that into gunsmithing? Because I'm thinking about making a blunderbuss. So gunsmithing is going to be useful, no? Right, let's see what we get out of here. So we're getting a load of iron and some short pipes from this place. I won't do all the beds. I'll just do a couple to get some, uh, you know, some spares. So you get springs out of these as well, which is really handy. But now we should get a little bit more considering that we uh, invested in a perk. So let's have a look. There we go. That's pretty cool. So yeah, now we got six springs. So it seems each bed gives you three springs. Let's do them all to their base layer. And then I think I'll go ahead and start looting the rest of this place. So it's like it's, uh, it looks like it's like a nine shot. So that's not bad. Um, how am I doing on temperature? So I'm starting to heat up again. Can I drink now? Um, I still can't. So I'm not getting thirsty yet. So that's good. Okay. Starting to get a bit late in the day as well, so we haven't got much time. I only got like four hours left, so gotta be careful. There we go. So there's all the springs and stuff from the beds. Let's go ahead and go recipes. Let's craft those into cloth fragments as well, just to save some room. There we go. So a good amount of cloth uh, coming from that, which is awesome. And let's go and see what we've got in here. So more cloth from there. And anything good in this washing machine? Uh, some glasses. Am I wearing glasses already? Uh, let's wear them. No, we're not. Okay, there we go. We can wear those. Hey, so now we've got a cool set of shades. Nice. Okay. We can also take these things apart as well, these TVs and stuff with the wrench. But right now, I'm not really too worried about that. Let's go and loot the rest of this place and see if we can build some ladders to get us up the top. So let's go back over this way. And let's go ahead and build some extra ladders here. So how many ladders can I make is the question. I can make five. That should be, uh, that should be plenty. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me cancel that a second so I can make the ladders first. And then we're going to go and head, uh, head sorry, and do the cloth stuff. There we go. Okay, so five ladders. We're going to go ahead and uh, stack those up um, on here. There you go. You can't really see them. Um, I don't really have a torch to uh, enable you to see them. So sorry if it's a little bit dark, but hopefully you guys uh, can uh, can live with that and we'll be okay. Let's have a look. Uh, anything on this level? Nothing on this level. Okay, there's two boxes here. Let's go ahead and start hacking our way into these and see what we get here. So this is a working cis box. Oh, this could be good. Uh, oh, look, loads of wood. Okay, that's that's handy, actually. For once, a load of wood from a working cis box is actually handy. So that feels pretty good. What do we get in here? Oh, a gas barrel as well. Nice. Okay, we can go and grab that. Okay. Now, the other thing is, can we go ahead and, like, jump our way across there? I don't know if we can. <sighs> oh, we made it. We made it. That is awesome. Right, okay, let's have a look in this one. Now, one thing you have to be careful of is when you open these things... Always, uh, always make sure that you don't go ahead and chop one more time. Because, um, you know, I just got the gas barrel in there. Well, another YouTuber I know, Fade Willow, um, was playing uh, Seven Days A16. She uh, does streams and stuff as well. So uh, definitely go check her out. She's an awesome YouTuber. And uh, she actually found one of those crates of the gas barrel in. And she sliced it one more time with an axe. And she blew herself up because she was watching the chat. So my advice is always watch what the hell you're doing with these boxes. Because random stuff just come out of them. And if it's a gas barrel, then, yeah, you might be in trouble. Right, what have we got in here? We've got um, some water, and let's go ahead and... Oh, there is one more sleeper there. Okay. Well, he can't really... I think he's stuck. He's stuck. Yeah, he's stuck. Let's go ahead and go ahead and pick him off. Okay, let's just lay some arrows into him. So that's a bit of a bug. Wow, he's taking a lot of arrows. That's pretty... Uh... Okay, that's probably a waste of arrows. So let's just go ahead and jump over that. 
Okay, yeah, I think he's stuck. I didn't see. I, I told you some sleepers can spawn on shelves. Did not even see him. Okay, let's go and open this last box here. And then we're going to get the hell away from this bit. Alright, come on then. And there's a toilet in a box on a shelf. Okay, it has nothing in it. Okay. That kind of makes sense that they have nothing in them, but I don't get it. So, like, sometimes they have, like, things packed with stuff in them. Which is kind of odd. Okay, yeah, we can just about make that jump, guys. That's quite funny. So yeah, only just. Right, let's get uh, let's get down here. Right, where's that guy? There he is. Right, can I get him in the face? See if I can just finish him off with one shot. Because he is uh, right. He doesn't detect me. He's just kind of set, stood there now. Let's go ahead and uh, boop. There we go. I need to wait for him to stand up again. Because um, otherwise, I'm just gonna get him in the leg and it's gonna do nothing to him. Right, is he getting up? Yeah, here we go. So yeah, it looks like he gets stuck in there. Oh no, now he's moving. Okay, so he kind of woke up and then didn't bother moving. Got him. Nice. Okay, there we go. We've got him. Right, what have you got, Mr. Zombie? Anything? Oh, iron arrowheads. There we go. We can get uh, pretty much all the iron arrows that we uh, used. We can get back. There we go. So, nine of them. Nice. All right, let's go look at these other boxes and things and see what we can get here. So, no food in that one, unfortunately, but never mind. Let's go ahead and uh, hack our way into this. See what else we can get, shall we? And in this box, we have... A cupboard with some jars and some cans. So we're getting a fair amount of iron from this place, which is uh, pretty good, actually. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, God, I thought there was one behind me then. When the, when the bodies do that, they make, like, the thumping noise. And I was like, oh, my God, is there, is there like, one there? But no, luck luckily there wasn't. Okay, that's, that's all right then. Um, woo! Okay, let's go ahead and look through here as well. And let's have a look and see what we get here. So inside here, we get... Um, an aircon unit. Okay, we can take the other part later. That's going to take a little bit too much time for my liking, though, so we're going to leave that now. Let's go ahead and open this one as well and see what we get here. And in here, we get a cabinet top. Okay, what's in here? Uh, nothing in there either. Okay, is that all the boxes down here? I think. Yeah, I think that's all the boxes. Okay, can we open this door? Oh, there's actually a bathroom back here. Oh, is there, uh, there going to be more sleepers in here? There are going to be more sleepers in here. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, looks like... Can we search all those? No. Right, is there anyone in the toilet? God, that, that, that'd be funny if I just like, like found this one guy in the toilet just like, Hey man, what are you doing? <laughs> that'd be great. I, mean, I love the way they've done the showers here with the faucets. That's quite creative. Okay, so there's nothing really in here. No sleepers or anything. Let's go and loot these sinks just in case. Nothing in there. Um, yeah, just making sure those are definitely not sleepers in here. Okay, let's have a look here. Oh, more iron arrowheads as well. Let's get some more of those then. Replenish our supply of iron arrows a bit. Can we search any of those? Nope. Okay. So both sinks are almost done. There we go. They're both done. Let's search the toilets as well. Uh, some turds. Okay. So let's let's grab those. May as well. And uh, nothing in that toilet there. Alrighty. I think that is pretty much everything in this fire station. All done and done. I think that's it. Yeah. Looks like it. So. Oh, we never uh, we never searched this bit though. Let's go and have a look in here. Nothing there. And uh, nothing there. Alright, as I said, I can take more stuff apart if I want to, but right now I kind of want to move on. So, I think the last building we're going to do before it's time for us to head back is going to be this uh, Poopy Pants Daycare over here. Because uh, there it is right there. And that's awesome that there's one of those around here. Because from what I've heard, there's a lot of books in these places, which is going to be really handy for us. Let's go ahead and uh, harvest some more yucca and things as well. Just to go ahead and uh, eat and keep on top of our, our stamina and food. There we go. We're probably going to have to collect a fair amount of this on the way back as well. So our skill in athletics actually went to level 15 as well. That's awesome. All right. Let's run along here and then let's go into... Yeah, let's go into this uh, poopy pants daycare here. Okay. So I don't know what sleepers are around in this one, but let's uh, let's go carefully. We're actually nearly back in the forest area as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like we're heading back to a forest biome here. And it looks like there's also some posh houses down there. And it looks like... Hang on, there's something over there as well. What is that over there? Hang on. Let's, let me zoom in a bit with the bow. There's some kind of... some kind of Is that a funeral home over there? Looks like there's a funeral home over that side of the town as well. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if even that's the same town or if it's just like a little uh, a little distant funeral home or, or something. I don't know. Um, let's get a stone out of here and repair my axe as well. There we go. So, new axe. All good. All right. Let's go into the poopy pants daycare and see if those zombies don't make us poop our pants. Because I'm, I'm sure they may. Let's just have a look in this car real quick as well. Hopefully we're not going to get attacked from the outside. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, another battery! Look at that! Wow, that's two batteries! Oh, I'm hunted by something. What's hunting me? What's that? Oh, you sneaky bugger! <laughs> you sneaky bugger! Thank God it was only a crawler. Okay. 
Whew! Okay, he's gone. Yeah, it's a good thing it shows you you're still hunted when a sleeper sees you, so that's uh, that's kind of a good thing. Right, are there, are there any more lying down out here? I'm I'm serious now. Are there any more here? Right, I don't know. Let's go ahead and grab this. Nothing there. Is that business I just saw there? No. Um, yuck fruit, though. Let's grab that. Okay. So I think that's everything here. So I want to do this before it gets too dark for you guys to see. So let's go ahead and uh, break our way in here. One thing I don't get is why this place has bulletproof glass. That doesn't really make much sense. Like why a daycare would have... Is there, Are they like are they taking care of like murderous children or something? I don't know. Uh, right, it's really dark in here. But I do see a sleeper there. Okay, I do see one sleeper here. So let's go ahead and just uh, bring her down. Right, come on then, you. Ah, oh, one shot to the face. Right in the crown. That was great. Okay. Any more here? Okay, I'm kind of getting nervous in this one because it's, uh, it's it's too dark even for me to see. So I can't imagine what it would be like for you guys. There's one sneaky bugger. Right, there you go. Come here, you. Okay, we got him. Knock him down. There we go. Now you're mine. Oh, I made the head blow. Nice. Okay. Let's go very carefully through here. Let's see what else we can find here. Right, anyone behind the desk here? No. Okay, no one there. Right, okay. I reckon there's going to be some more behind uh, this tabletop over here, though. Let's have a quick look. There's loads of stuff we can actually search here as well. There's loads of cabinets, so maybe we can find some food here. That'd be handy. Ooh. Oh, big lady. Let's go ahead and give her a bit of a whack. Right, let's back out of here. Make sure no one else is sneaking on me. Right, where's she going? I think she's heading towards the door. Yeah. There we go. We can knock you down. There you go. Eat this. Oh, you're still alive? How are you still alive? Right, all right then. Right, she's going back to the door. Oh, I took the face off. Look at that. Oh, she did not like that, did she? <laughs> she was not happy. Right, go on then. Right, any more sneaking? Nope. Okay. What do you have on you? Oh, some oil there. More molotovs. That's awesome. And another hungry. Side. Oh, a shovel. An iron shovel. Nice. Another good tool. Right, what do we got? Oh, a painting. Uh, painting one. Let's read that. Get the paper from there. And what have we got here? Oh, a shotgun schematic. Nice. Let's read that too. Okay, so far doing very well. More paper. Good, good. So we're finding a load of paper here. That's awesome. Okay, is that was that the only zombie in this little area? I think it was. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. There's one there. There's one there, you sneaky bugger. I don't, you probably can't see her, but... Or him, actually, because there is a crawler here. Okay, where's he going? He's kind of heading off this way. Right, he should be... Got him! There we go, we took him down. And our skill in archery is going up. We're now at level 3. Hooray! And we leveled up. Nice. And we actually got uh, two feathers for that as well. So not doing bad. Okay. Oh, is there already on top of there as well? I just thought, you had to you had to check on like everything, guys. Oh, oh man, there could have been one there as well. See, there's like a little shelf here. There could have, oh, there could have been one there. That would have been, oh man, okay, that could that could have been bad. That could have been real bad. Okay. Anyone over this side? No. Okay, so let's go and uh, let's go and break our way into here. See if there's anyone waiting for us in here. Yep, there is. Definitely a lady in here. Let's go ahead and knock her down. Oh, I missed that. Okay, she's going that way. There we go. She's gone. Two shots knocks her down. That's pretty cool. Um, right. Anyone else in here? Nope. Okay, let's search everything in here. This seems like a safer room to be in. Okay, those trainers. Can we wear those? Or have we got some already? Uh, those are actually better, so let's scrap these ones. Okay, no one's sneaking on me? Nope. Okay. Let's have a little search in here. Some more turds? Okay. Any good books in here? Let's have a quick look. Nope. What time is it? It's 20:06, so we gotta we gotta we gotta hurry up, guys, and get back home before it gets dark. Uh, let's see, jars. All right. Let's have a look in here as well. Uh, lead and another jar. So nothing really good in this one. All right. That's that one done. Let's go and have a look in this one. Is any? Oh, yep. Yeah, there is one in there. It's back up here. Let her open it. Oh no, she's going that way. Why are you going that way, lady? On this way. Okay, right, we've opened, there's, there's two in here. Okay, so it looks like she's kind of stopped for a minute. So let's go ahead and uh, use that to our advantage. There we go, we can knock her down. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, he knocked an arm off, that helps. Okay, let's get this guy. Right, is she coming out now? Nah, they're kind of walking in the back there. Okay, this guy's coming. Okay, we got him. Right, you lady, come on. 
Stop whacking on things. There you go. Right, is there any more in this room? There's actually a tiny little room. I'm just scared there might be like one more just hiding around in here. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go and loot this place as well. Okay. Murky water I'll grab just to boil up later. Nothing in there. Oh, he nearly broke the bookshelf. So... Oh, an exploding bolt schematic. Read. Yes, please. I'm taking that. Right, let's search all this stuff as well. And let's search everything here. Another wrench. That's three wrenches we found, guys. How awesome is that? That's three. Wow. Okay, we're doing good here. Okay. Oh, we never searched these guys either, did we? Let's go and have a quick look. Okay. I think I'll come back the next day to loot the food because it's getting a bit dark and I want you guys to be able to see. So let's go ahead and uh, scrap the stuff. Let's do the last couple of bookshelves around this area. We'll come back tomorrow, I think, for the rest of this. So let's go and have a look for any remaining paper or schematics or anything. Any last good bits. Let's go and grab... Oh, look, some shotgun slugs as well. Wow, we're finding some really good things here. Oh, and some chest armor. Let's read that too. Nice. Okay. Let's grab that one. Okay, and let's grab that one as well. Okay, we've got a ton of paper. That is that is amazing. Let's go and grab that. And there's two more chairs here as well. We're going to scrap those for some wood. And we can scrap this as well, save some room. Uh, is there any other stuff I really want to scrap? You know what, that's only two, two money, so we'll scrap those as well. And we can eat that. All right. So time is getting on. It's about half past eight. So let's go and head back to... We're kind of close to our home now, aren't we? So I think we're actually... No, let's go to our loot box and get the best of the loot, and then we can go back home as well. Because I do want to go along and start getting some more of these things as well. Let's go ahead and get some more yuckers and things as we go. Just so we have a bit of a stock of them for some food tonight. Because unfortunately, we still haven't found any other animals. So that kind of sucks. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. Don't know if there's any sleepers there, but sod them. Let's just move on. Right, let's go this way and head back to... Let's just go the short way, head to our loot box over here. Okay, nothing there. Ouch, cactus, how dare you? And there's some yuckers here as well. Let's grab all those. More medical supplies is going to be good. Okay. Let's grab these guys as well. Loads of these. Oh, look at all them. Nice. Okay. Okay, I think we got everything there. Let's just come down carefully so I don't break my leg. Right. Our loot box should just be... I think it's up here or is it the next one along? Maybe the next one down. Yeah, it's the next one down over that way. Okay. So loot box is just down here, so then we can get the best of that and then run home. Because it's starting to get dark, and I don't want to be out here for too long. And you never know, a wandering horde can show up at any moment. I think so far we've been lucky, but one can show up at any moment without warning as well. And it may even be dogs and things as early as day two. I've, I've known people that are getting dogs early as day two on Insane, so yeah, we could uh, we could be in for uh, uh, the horror of our lives very soon okay let's just press r to grab as much as we can and then let's sort the crap from the good so to be fair we can actually just scrap these tools um for iron i can make a better one of those so i'm going to scrap that for iron which is the best wrench of the three that we got um those can be scrapped as well those wood wood frames the best wrench of the three because we, we did get three didn't we yeah okay the eight the quality 83 is the best one so we're going to go ahead and scrap that one and scrap that one Okay, we're getting full on scrapping now. Uh, let's take the seed and the brass and the grain alcohol. Definitely want those things. This spare battery and the wood stuff. Well, these aren't really essential things, so I think we can leave those. Although I do I do want to take the gunpowder, so let's go ahead and see see what I can do about that. So the 83 one is one I want to keep. Okay, now I can scrap that. Is there any other stuff I can just uh, quickly scrap and chuck? Um, I don't believe there is. Okay. You know what, the murky water we can... Actually, do we have empty jars? Because we can probably go and fill a water source of uh, fill a water source with those. Um, let's have a look. So we got some. We have got nine jars here. Okay, we got ten empty jars. So we're going to go and fill those with murky water as well. Let me equip these. And I think that's pretty much all we can take right now. But that's fine. Uh, oh, I can take one more thing. W one more thing. Do I want to grab? Uh, let's grab the gunpowder. Okay. Let's go. Let's get out of it. Uh, let's head home. Because before long it's going to be getting dark, and those zombies are going to be running again. So. Let's take, uh, let's take a quicker route. Let's go this way. Hopefully this isn't going to be um, a deathly choice. Because every... Um, oh, I hear one over there. Okay, yeah. Because every every decision... I, f I feel like every single decision I'm making right now really matters. Like, which route I take even, I feel matters. You know, because for all I know, I could be running this way and there'll be a snake in the grass. You know, every single choice I make is, is going to have an impact on me in some way or another, for the good or for the bad. I just hope we don't die, but so far we're doing well. Okay, let's go and grab these. Uh, more aloe over there. Okay, oh, there's one more over there as well. Make sure we're grabbing all of these, because we're going to need them to keep us going during the night. 
There we go. And another one. There we go. So loads of aloe right there. Definitely would like to get a mining helmet very soon, though, because that's definitely going to help. Or even some night vision goggles would be uh, a nice bonus, too. Okay. Is that a bear's nest I just stepped over? No. Okay. Time is getting on. Time is running out. So sod, sod everything else. Let's get out of here. Let's just get out of the city, because I reckon I reckon at night things are going to get pretty bad. So let's just uh, let's run home. There's not many zombies down the path, which is pretty good. But, you know, for all we know, there could be more later on. So let's just go and get out of here. Back into our forest. There we go. And let's run back home. We're not that far anyway, so just slow down a little bit. Oh, actually, I wanted to fill my water bottle, didn't I? There we go. There's a source of water right over here. So we should be able to use this to fill. Uh, yeah, we can go and fill these up. So to fill a jar, you can just come up to a water source and right-click. Just don't right-click again, otherwise you may accidentally drink from the jar, and then you risk getting dysentery, um, which is actually a lethal disease. It, I think it can kill you in the end, so yeah, you don't really want to be getting that. We, oh, we're not getting more stone because we're full. Okay, so that then. Let's get, let's get back. Okay. Let's get down here. Okay, we're nearly home. I see I see a little light. We're nearly there. We're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. Hopefully, we're not going to get attacked by anything. Let's uh, let's walk for a sec. Just to make sure Stanner recovers. Just in case the worst does happen. Let's, uh, I, I've, I've got a bad feeling. I've got a bad feeling. Let's just get the club out just in case. I, I For some reason, I just have this really weird feeling that something's going to go horribly wrong any second. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing. I'm, I'm just. I'm just really on edge right now. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I think we're okay. We good. We good. We good. Uh, yeah, we're good. Oh, and our, our trees are even growing. Look at that. All right, we are good. Whew! We made it. Actually, uh, duh. Close the door. Jeez. <laughs> there we go. Right now. Now we're good. Now that's better. Right. Let's get back up here. Oh, we made it, guys, and we got a load of good loot. So we did uh, very well on that little loot run, and we got a load of essential stuff as well. So overall, I'm super happy with how we did here. So let's go ahead and start uh, sorting this out, getting this all put away. And uh, let's see. I think we need a we need some kind of trader box. I think the trader box is going to be this one on the far right. So yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be that one. I think when we get uh, stuff organised, uh, or trader trader and miscellaneous item box is going to be that one. But look at this. We we've started to get a, a bit more food and stuff together. So all that can go in here. Um, these guys can all go in there for now. Actually, let's start boiling up this water as well. I got five golden rods, so I can start making golden rod tea as well. Um, did I not? Okay. So I've got 26 forged iron out of there as well. Okay, yeah, we're going to start making ourselves some new weapons and things. So let's get the wood out and let's start uh, turning on the forge, getting some stuff melted down. And then we can start making ourselves some more things. So let's turn this on. I'm going to melt down... What can I melt down here? I'm going to melt down my iron reinforced club, or my barb club, sorry, and then we're going to get a better one. So that can go. And we're also going to do the claw hammer as well. Sod it. Let's go and melt those in. And then let's go ahead and get the rest of that out as forged iron. We can get 34. So let's exchange uh, that for that. And then we've also got 967. 967, wow. So we've, we've got all that regular iron as well. Now, the main problem is we are out of clay. So, uh, oh dear, that's uh, that's not good. So we're going to need to go ahead and get some more clay pretty soon. Let's also go ahead and start the campfire off. And then we can cook the murky water and then do some golden rod tea. There we go. So we can turn that on and get some bottled water on the go. There we go. So that's, uh, that's all getting started off as well. And let's go ahead and uh, put some stuff away here. So oil is raw material, so it's lead. Um, these are crafted things. I guess turds and gas count as raw materials, right? Um, so that's fine. Gunpowder is more of a crafted item, but we're going to go ahead and grab these as well. And we're going to start getting some gunpowder from this. So let's go ahead and get some. Now, I know the trader has a working station, but right now I'm just more concerned about getting the gunpowder I need right now. So we're not. I'm not really too worried about that. Let's go ahead and drop the rest in here. So we've got some duct tape, we've got some glue. Overall, we're doing pretty well here. Okay, I need to also consider making myself some extra meds as well. So let's go ahead and get those queued up as well. So recipes, let's go and start doing some aloe cream. We can go and get that queued in. Okay, so we got that going. Leather, can chuck in here as well. That's a crafted resource, so is this. There we go. Looking pretty good. And let's chuck these uh, spare casino coins in there as well. All right, so getting some gunpowder. We're also going to get ourselves a new uh, barge club because this one will be better than the one before. Let's go ahead and grab that, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and see if we can get ourselves some clay. But it is dark again, so we're going to have to be super careful when we go outside. But 
As they say, no risk, no reward, right? So we're gonna have to see. Uh, uh, gonna have to see how well we can do here. Okay. So I do have all the stuff ready to make blunderbuss ammo, which is another good thing. Oh. Oh, there's a wandering horde coming through the area. Listen to that. Okay, stay still, stay still, stay still. Oh, hear all them? Oh, man. I'm glad I didn't go out just now. I'm glad I waited. Wandering horde, listen to that. Loads of them. Okay, they're starting to hit on other buildings. So I don't know which way they're coming, but okay. That's fine. Okay, I, I am glad we we're inside. I'm very glad we we're inside right now. Okay. The other thing we could do is probably get ourselves some um, cornbread as well. So that's all done. Let's get some goldenrod tea here. And let's go and get the corn out of there. Turn that into cornmeal. And we can get ourselves a bit more cornbread for uh, wellness raising food as well. So that's going to help. So yeah, we got a few a few things to do uh, while we're waiting, but that's cool. Okay, because we are getting a bit hungry as you can uh, as you can hear. So let's go and drop that gas in there. That's a trading item. You're actually a medical item. So you can go right there. Now we're getting a bit short on iron arrows as well. So we're definitely going to want those uh, on the go as soon as we can. There's some more forged iron as well. Very nice. So we've got 37 more of that. And I think we can actually go ahead and craft our blunderbuss as well. So our queue is currently full. But that's only going to take a few more seconds. And then we'll have another couple of minutes for each of those things as well. So yeah, got quite a bit to do here. Okay, I'll tell you what. What I'm going to do, just so you guys don't have to like, watch me wait for crafting things to get completed. Let me just go ahead and once this queue's all emptied out, then I'll come back with you and we'll craft uh, the blunderbuss and all that good stuff together. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. Alrighty guys, we are back. And I've gone ahead and I actually went and dug a little bit more clay because our forge has actually run out and I need to get myself some more iron arrowheads. The corn... Uh, meal finally got done as well so let's go ahead and start on uh, some cornbread right here as well just so I have a little bit of a supply of food later i went and also and uh, crafted up my uh, aloe stuff into aloe cream and then we can go ahead and make that into some bandages as well so let's go ahead and uh, begin the crafting of that as well now that we've got all that stuff together so there we go first aid bandage and that won't take too long so there we should have then a good supply of first aid bandages we'll have some to take with us and then we have some as a backup so we can actually start using these things um a little bit more effectively now which is going to be really really handy so there we go it's filled up our internal internal slot on our on our bar there and now we're actually getting some spares for our boxes so that's gonna be really awesome so now we can actually go ahead and heal if we need to hopefully we'll find some more pain pills um soon enough but for right now i think that will do so let's go ahead and uh, drop the rest of those bandages in here and we can use those later if we need to so the next thing i wanted to work on then is getting a blunderbuss together and i think i've got most of the resources that we need for that so the other stuff we're gonna need is we're gonna need some stuff for the ammo which is uh these these three items here then we're gonna need a short iron pipe, some duct tape, and some of this. And I think altogether, this should provide me with a blunderbuss. Let's craft one of those. So that's gonna take me like two minutes to make. But what we can do is we actually leveled up as well, as you'll recall, and I've got six points to spend. So what we're gonna do is I think we're gonna spend one on gunsmithing to make sure we can get a quality 100 blunderbuss. And then I also wanna focus a little bit on some armor as well. So let's go ahead and, turn, uh, and turn these ones in for uh, some armor smithing as well. So armor crafting is now up as well. And the other thing we're gonna work on is actually getting ourselves some cloth armor. Now we can't make leather armor just yet but cloth armor is something that we can make and it will provide us with a little bit of protection so you can see that we can make uh, some cloth chest armor um, some gloves some head armor leg armor and boots I think the ones we want to make are the the gloves the chest armor and the the uh, the leg armor so these three are the ones you want to make but each of them you can see also costs a bit of duct tape now luckily for us we've found quite a bit of it so we should have enough to go ahead and craft the stuff we need so I'm gonna go ahead and craft this one this one and this one and this should just provide me a little bit of extra protection uh compared to uh having no armor at all so it may just be the difference between life and death it, it probably won't be but it may be so we're gonna go ahead and get that done now do we have our cornbread all cooked up here is the fire ready to be turned off it sure is so let's go ahead and turn that off make sure we're not attracting too much unwanted attention and let's go ahead and eat these so hopefully we're going to start raising our wellness a little bit more from eating plus we're actually healing a bit now that we're eating some better food as well so you can see that cornbread heals us by uh, about two hit points each which is really really handy and there we go our wellness actually went up to a max cap of 102 so we are doing well so it's taken our it's taken us a while for us to get our wellness up initially but that's mainly because we don't have any real sources of uh, meat or anything usually meat will get it up a lot faster 
but right now we don't actually have that ready to use. But our blunderbuss is nearly done, which is really, really cool. So I'm, le uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Let's go ahead and also get some more iron arrowheads as well. Now, how many feathers do I have? I have 159. So let's get as many iron arrowheads as I have feathers. So 159. And then we can make another good stock of iron arrows as well. So definitely want to keep on top of the iron arrow supply. Because as we go and raid more and more POIs, we're going to be using more and more of these iron arrows and things. So we've got to be careful here. Okay, so do we need to drink anything? Yes, we do. Uh, let's actually drink the golden roti. We can save the yucca juice for um, more portableness. But let's go ahead and uh, drink these. We need to uh, fill up on drink. There we go. We're 100% hydrated now. Awesome. And there we go. Our blunderbuss is done. As you can see right there, we are all good with the blunderbuss. So here we go, guys. Here is Mr. Blunderbuss. Let's go and uh, let's go and equip him and have a look, shall we? It's a little. Oh yeah. Look at this thing. That is awesome. Now the blunderbuss in uh, in most cases is actually largely very very useless unless you're like at point blank range on a zombie. But what the blunderbuss does offer is the winded debuff. And what the winded debuff will do is if, if an enemy is running towards you, it will pretty much turn it into a walking enemy. So if I get a dog running at me, I can shoot it and it will make the dog walk for a little while, which will give me a chance to escape and outrun it. So that can be very very handy. Our armor is also done as well, so let's go ahead and wear that. So we're getting quality 100 armor. Which is always really nice. And that's replacing our plant fiber gloves. So we can go ahead and uh, scrap that stuff as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can be scrapped. Now as well as the blunderbuss we also need some ammo for it. And luckily the ammo isn't actually that hard to get. You just need some gunpowder, some paper and some small stones. And then you can go ahead and make yourself uh, blunderbuss ammo. Now I'm not going to need a ton of this. Because I'm not going to be using it specifically to take out zombies. It's going to be a very situational weapon. The bow is definitely going to be far superior for taking out the zombies. But blunderbuss is going to be good enough to uh, avoid any kind of dogs or even if we find a bear for example maybe i could go and shoot that and slow it down for a little while and it might actually give me the opportunity to be able to kill a bear which would be really really handy now i'm not saying it's definitely gonna work it probably won't i'll probably fail miserably but it'll be a good start actually let's get this wood back as well right how's our iron arrowheads doing okay so we can actually start on the crafting of uh, more iron arrows as well but overall today, guys, I think we've done very, very well for our second day. I'm not feeling too secure in this house, though, so we might want to fortify it a little bit. But, you know, that can that can be worked on as and when we need to. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, how many more of these can I actually get from here? I get 76. Let's get... Let's get 40 more forged iron, so I've got a bit of a, a backlog of forged iron if I need it for repairs and things. But here's some more arrows as well. So we're going to go ahead and turn all of these into iron arrows. And then I think our blunderbuss ammo is nearly done as well. So overall, guys, we're doing super well. We're crafting everything, and uh, yeah, we just have to be able to use this blunderbuss. So let's load this thing up as well. Now, you can see just how long the blunderbuss takes to reload. That is a very long reload time. That's about three or four seconds uh, to reload it. So as I said, it's good for like a one-shot and run. But as I said, it's a very, very situational weapon. So we've got to be very careful with how we use this thing. It also makes a ton of noise, so it's probably not a good idea to use it in a building full of sleepers. Because it'll probably wake the whole lot of them up, and then, you know, we'll have a whole load of sleepers deal with which is gonna kind of be a bit crappy so we've got 15 more of these to go so let's go ahead and queue some more of these up and then as you can see we're getting a bit of a back stock of iron arrows as well so i'm definitely glad we found these feathers the only thing is we need uh, the next thing we need to do i think is go out and find some uh, animals to go and get hunting or we can go ahead and see if we can get some plants and start our own farm however i do want to find a good location to build our base so i think maybe that will be on the cards um in the next episode as well it's, it's finding a good location to actually build because i don't want to live in this town um i want to kind of live outside the town in a forest biome but i want an area that's flat as well because uh flat areas are obviously good to build on now in this series i was thinking of building um a city and uh, to build a city, we're going to need a good flat area in order to go ahead and build the thing. And I was thinking I can make buildings after each of you guys. So if you guys would like a building, uh, let me know what kind of building you would like. And uh, I will happily consider that for later on in the series when I actually start to do that stuff. Because that's going to be really awesome if you guys would like some buildings. Okay, so is there any other stuff we could actually use our forged iron on right now? effectively or is that about it we could use it on a hoe actually that's another thing i'm gonna need, i'm gonna need to start farming as well so let's actually go and make a uh, iron garden hoe as well because that could be very useful so let's go and make that and oh our key is full so we've actually got uh, 46 more to go hang on a minute let's actually cancel those then we can make the hoe then we can make the arrows as well there we go then we can make some arrows there we go that's better so kind of saved a little bit of room on our crafting queue. But you can see we're at, uh, we're back to 161 arrows. And overall, 
I think we're doing pretty well. So guys, I think we're at a pretty good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So we've uh, done a fair bit of exploration, gone right around the town now. I think we've uncovered most of it by the looks of things. Yeah, I think there's like a, a tiny little bit over, as I said, there was a bit over there, which I think there was like a funeral home and something over there, which we might explore tomorrow. But for now, I think we're at a good enough point to uh, call, it, uh, call it a good end for this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!